create and publish a form using Insight. Let's get started on creating your form. To create a form, click the New Form button either on the header or on the All Forms section. Add a form title, description, start and end date of the project, and the number of responses you expect to receive. Enable Track Geolocation of Responses to automatically capture GPS locations of all responses coming in. Use this feature to monitor data collectors on the field. Then click Add Questions. Insight has many question types to choose from according to the type of data you want to capture from the field. Validation rules in every question type help you enhance data quality, ensure data completeness, and minimize errors. When these rules are violated on the Insight mobile app, error messages are displayed next to the input fields and forms cannot be submitted by the data collector. Text allows you to capture open-ended responses in alphanumeric form. Questions such as name and address can be captured with text questions. Validations include setting character limits, enabling data collectors to enter multiple line responses and making it mandatory to answer a question. These limits let you control basic data quality by rejecting responses that violate the applied limits. The Show in Responses Summary feature, when enabled for a question, becomes the data point to identify each data entry when viewing your responses. By default, the mandatory checkbox is always unchecked. Keeping it checked means that it will be compulsory for the data collector to submit an answer to this question. Number questions allow you to create questions that require numeric values only as a response. Questions such as age can be captured using this question type. Set minimum and maximum value limits to enhance data quality and reduce errors. In this case, data collectors will not be able to submit a response lower than 10 and higher than 100. Image is used to capture photos from the field. The question hint is the information that shows up on the Insight mobile app along with the questions. Use it to provide information that helps the data collector understand the question better. It is best to add hints for any question that might be unclear or difficult to understand. Introductory text, as the name suggests, allows you to add descriptions to any part of a form. Use this to give instructions on how to administer a form or wherever you need to display content to the data collector. Multiple choice is used to capture questions that have a list of predefined answers. To capture questions with only one possible answer, such as gender, type in your question, then enter the options. For questions that require multiple answers, type in your question, enter the options and enable accept multiple answers. Use validation rules to set the minimum and maximum number of selected answers. Create a GPS question to collect latitude and longitude data points from anywhere around the world. You can specify how accurate you want the data to be. This will be enforced on the mobile app to ensure data collectors do not submit any data out of range. Break up long forms into parts with section. You can add introductory text to sections to explain what they are about. Use section break to indicate the end of a section. Questions can be moved by clicking and dragging. Apply skip logic to forms to skip certain questions based on previous answers. With skip logic enabled, this question about pregnancy won't show when respondents answer male to the gender question. Enable skip this question when and add rules to use this feature. This can help reduce the time it takes for data collectors to administer forms. Organize your forms better by creating pages for different topic areas. You can add as many pages as you want. You are also encouraged to use pages to improve data collector engagement. Filling long forms easily becomes tiring if there is no pagination. On the right side of your form, you can view details such as the status of your form, whether it is in draft or published. Only published forms can be viewed by data collectors on the mobile app. The number of questions in your form date the form was last modified, and number of responses received. 
Enable Auto Publish to automatically publish forms when you save. Disable this to save as draft to work on later. You are now ready to publish your form.